Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to install iPad OS 26 on your iPad, iPad Pro or iPad Air. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to be going through the complete process of updating your iPad to iOS 26. And before we begin, we do have to go over a few things to ensure that this process works smoothly and you don't lose any of your information. So make sure you watch the entire video and if you have any issues, let me know in the comments, I can help you out. So the first thing you wanna do, make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi network and you have a good connection to the internet so you get the fastest speed. Also make sure that your battery percentage is as high as you can get it. I believe you can update at 50% or higher. If not, plug it up to the charger and plug it in, leave it in there through the whole update process. Next, you wanna make sure you have enough space on your iPad. So open up settings, tap general, and then tap iPad storage. I just ran this update on my iPhone 15 Pro and it needed 18 gigabytes of space to run that. So we're looking at probably more for the iPad here, even though it does say around like 10 gigabytes to install it. So free up your space, delete photos, offload apps, whatever you need to do. Next, you wanna back up your information. So anything important, photos, videos, back them up. These updates traditionally work fine, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So back up your information before this update. And once you're all set up, you can then begin the process of installing iOS 26 on your iPad. So open up the settings once again, make sure you have general tapped here and then tap on software update. It's going to check for the update and depending on how fast your internet is and how many people are updating at once, this might take a little bit of time. When the update appears, depending on if you've updated your iPad to the latest version, you might see iPadOS 18 up there. But if you want the iPadOS 26, tap on that. You might just see it straight at this page. Now, if you don't get this page, check the link in the description. It'll show you which iPads support iPadOS 26. You may have an iPad that doesn't support iPad 26. From here, tap update now. It'll prompt you to put in your passcode, so go ahead and do that. Go through these terms and services and tap agree, and tap agree again. Now it's requesting the update. This usually takes 20 minutes to go through this complete process. You'll get estimates up here. There's nothing more to do until the update has downloaded to your iPad. So at this point, you can wait it out or you can use your iPad like normal and then come back to it when it completes or when it prompts you on screen. I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch this entire thing. All right, so that took a really long time. We're gonna tap on install now. I actually had it fail in between. I had to restart it. I have some troubleshooting uh, common issues that you might have when updating iOS 26 or iPadOS 26. So check that at the end of the video or leave me a comment and I'll help you out. But it's done now and you'll see that the iPad is going to restart a bunch of times. You'll see the Apple logo appear in the center. I'm actually gonna flip this a little bit so it's not so crooked, but you'll see the Apple logo appear a few times in the middle and it'll have a bar. Don't turn the iPad off, let it do its thing. Don't unplug it if you have it plugged up to the charger and we'll be back when iPadOS 26 installs. And there it is with that new liquid glass look here, iOS 26 or iPadOS 26 has now been installed. Let's swipe up. It'll again prompt you for your passcode. Enter that in. We'll go through the quick setup here at the beginning. We'll tap continue, or you can tap only download automatically. I like that better. That way I don't have any interruptions while I'm using it. So software updates, we'll do it that way. And I'll also go through a few things here that you should check before you move forward. So I'm gonna set up my Apple Pay later. You can do the same or set it up now. It's up to you. I don't send my iPad analytics or any Apple analytics to Apple or any company. Got a quick, Little rundown here, you can kind of see how things will look. Go through that if you like. I'm gonna be posting a ton of tutorial videos on the new iPad OS 17, iOS 17, and the new iPhone. So check my channel for those if you're interested in learning more and getting the most out of your iPad. So here, another one. So you can choose what you want, full screen window apps, full screen apps, whatever you'd like here, to your kind of personal preference here in your multitasking window and that's it. Now we've got that liquid glass welcome screen. We'll tap get started here and we are back to our iPad and ready to go. Now, one thing you wanna do because we just updated this, you can see how the apps have changed 
the uh, different looks of them with that liquid look. So we'll open settings. Let's just make sure everything updated. We'll tap on software update here. And you can see iPad OS 26.0 is up to date. So we're at the latest version. We can now utilize some of the cool features like the liquid glass that I've been talking about, but a lot of other ones as well. If you wanna learn how to use these features to their full capacity, definitely check out my channel, subscribe to it, click the bell notification box. And if you ran into any issues, let me know as well. Well, the most common issue that I came out with here was that it was freezing during the preparation for updates. So when you go here and it was searching and then it would start updating the download process, it got stuck in the middle. So what you do in those situations, you can try restarting your iPad and running the download again. You do not want to restart your iPad during the installation process. Never do that or it could damage and you could lose everything on your iPad. Second thing I tried was to go into my settings here. I went into my account, logged out of iCloud, restarted the iPad, logged back into iCloud, and then ran the update. It just took a very long time, like an hour to download for whatever reason, but it did work. And now I'm up and running. If you had any other issues, let me know in the comments. I'll try to help you out. As always, thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe, and click the bell notification box. And I will see you guys in the next one.